Portland. The Warriors look to regroup on their home floor. Still missing their own star and playing with only nine healthy players. They face a huge challenge in the small form of one of the NBA's best, Allen Iverson. Back up! They're the Syracuse Nationals again, and Allen Iverson, the unstoppable six-foot force. Hello, everybody. Bob Fitzgerald alongside Jim Barnett. The Warriors' winning streak is over, having won four in a row, a fourth quarter short-circuiting offensively in Portland, and only nine healthy Warriors tonight in Philadelphia. How do you guard him? How do you stop him? Do you let him get his and make sure the role players don't kick in for Philly? Well, he knows how to score the basketball. He's leading the league in scoring at 29 a game. He's had a couple of 50-point-plus nights. He scored over 36 times and a couple of 40-point nights. He's tenacious in the passing lanes, and he's just a very dangerous player. Jim O'Brien, in his first year as the Philly head coach, loves the three-point line, loves to spread it around, and Iverson and Kyle Korver, they have the green light. Allen Iverson and Speedy Claxton. Warriors in their city jerseys of 66-67, and the Syracuse Nationals, the 54-55 World Championship Syracuse Nationals. I can see Johnny Kerr in the middle right now. Along with uh, several other players, Larry Costello, the guard, and Dolph Shays, number four. Oh, yeah. Rookie misfiring. Allen Iverson, who had 35 last night against the Clippers. Going against Speedy Claxton. They were teammates with the Sixers in Speedy's rookie year. This is the toughest defensive assignment in the league. You're dealing with Iverson, McGrady, LeBron, players like that. Kenny Thomas will launch. Iverson, with a pump fake, hang fake. <laughs> Very few guys could have made that shot. Well, he'll take all kinds of shots, as I said. 11 of 28 against the Nuggets, 29 points only, 16 of 30. And by the way, he makes nearly 10 field goals a game. That's best in the NBA. Speedy to the rim, and it curls in. He's very adept and doing a little finger roll and putting a little English on the ball to make it come back in. All five Warrior starters have scored. As has Philly, all their starters. And Iverson's hit back-to-back -back shots. Well, Speedy got hung up on the Thomas screen and credit Iverson because he was very patient with that screen. Moving, moving, waiting. If you let him get a running start, he can own you. Look. Iverson. Donald knocking it away, it's off Iverson's foot. Oh, Mark Wunderling. I'm gonna see that one again. Football at Bethel High School in Hampton, Virginia. Iverson was the Virginia State Player of the Year in football and in basketball. He played quarterback, defensive back, return kicks, and obviously just a little bit quicker than everybody else. And Bob and Jimmy was 10 years old. He wanted nothing to do with playing basketball, but his mom said, you're going to practice. You're going to go to basketball practice. Smart move by his mom. And you know what Iverson said, Glenn, to that? He said, practice, mom. <laughs> practice? I got to go to practice? Come on. No, AI was just a phenomenal high school quarterback. And an offensive foul is Mark Jackson on the moving. Outright speed. I talk about from inline to inline. There's nobody faster than the NBA. No, AI thinks or thinks or claims that he, he could have thrown the ball over 60 yards in the air as well. Kenny Thomas fouling and Cisse on the jumper. Handle all the media. Right. And I really think the maturity, he, you know, and also his respect for Larry Brown. They reunited and rebuilt their relationship. Yes, they it was did. nice to see that this summer. One of the few positives really coming out of that Olympic experience. And of course, they rebuilt that relationship while Larry Brown was still coaching Philadelphia. But I like Iverson. And you know what? He doesn't and shouldn't have to practice as much as others the way he plays night in, night out. Over 41 minutes tonight. I agree. Cisse Mayball free for Mark Jackson. Pinned behind the backboard. Kenny Thomas draws the foul and flips it in. That's a tough sequence for the Warriors there. Trying to grab him there. An offensive foul after the shot was made. That's the second made bucket waved off by offensive fouls for the Warriors. Now, the reason I say Speedy is essential, he's the only player on this team that has any chance of staying with Iverson. Ball, but there's just 
a little too much contact. He kind of closes in on him, and that puts him in a bind. Mark Jackson working off Iverson, and that's where AI can make his teammates better. Iverson's everywhere. AI also knows Speedy has two fouls and would love to get him off the floor. Mark Jackson again. Yep, he's got a nice stroke. Jackson's got seven. He's just playing with loads of confidence. Murphy with seven. Dunleavy with seven. Speedy with seven, leading the way. Oh! Iverson again. And see now, Speedy can at least bother Iverson. It, you know, you, you love Derek Fisher, but he's just not... Quick enough. Well, I, I thought he did a good job recovering through the screen, but Iverson is so quick and he can go either way, right or left. Iverson right to the paint and right in again. Now you, you can't stop that one. Uh, it's impossible to stop. Fading away like that to the left. Any misfiring. And no blue jersey in the lane. So spacing and timing are very important. Iverson a three. Forget it, he's gone crazy. 11 here in the quarter, 17 in the game, 7 of 10 shooting, and Philly their first lead. The story of the game, obviously, particularly the second quarter, is Allen Iverson. Speedy Claxton went to the bench with three fouls, and Iverson destroyed whoever else was trying to guard him. And just moving without the ball constantly, he was special in that second you quarter. Know, nobody works harder in a game than Allen Iverson. They even went to a little box of one when Cheney was on him because he gets unstoppable. He really felt light-footed when Speedy left the floor. Well, with Speedy, Iverson had only four points. Like, when Speedy went to the bench, in 10 minutes he had 17 and never missed a shot. Really interesting here, if we could stop it. Yeah, here's Speedy, okay? Now, we know Iverson is in the corner, but watch what happens. Speedy never sees the ball and just flips right by his head. He feels the wind as it goes by, and Iverson with that quick release, but that's why you always have to see the ball as well as your man. You saw Mike Montgomery's adjustment. The Warriors are playing a box and one. Four guys in the lane in the box, and there's the one. And the one had no idea the pass was coming. Vision of ball and man. They teach you that very early playing hoop. But with Iverson, the way he moves, Tough to do that. You hate to lose sight of him because as soon as you turn your head, he's one player that just is constantly moving all the time and you lose him. I can understand how Speedy has a dilemma. Up and out. And Kenny Thomas, a nice one hand rebounder. Here comes Iverson, 100 miles an hour. Under, under. He can break your ankles when he comes at you like that as a defender. It's just an expression. And Kenny Thomas at the spot. That is a page out of Nate Tiny Archibald's book. Create contact a little bit, go off it, and finish the play. His left arm gets him to the line. Well, Speedy even things at 94. Iverson untied it. If Huskin, you shall receive. Well, two undersized men going to the basket in similar fashion. And Nate, so quick. Nate the skate, he gets the call. He's a star. He also knows how to do it and convert, and he got a three-point play out of it. Iverson now with 29, Murphy's fourth foul. But they still have a possession to go down and score. Oh, you're right, you're right. Nika Dahl this time to set his feet, and he hits the three that they could not afford to have happen. Both free throws made. Warriors will use their final timeout. Next play, who answers? How about AI? He had 21 in the first half. Just eight in the second, but those two big. 29.6 assists for Iverson. Philly up two. Later in the fourth, Sixers up three. Andre Iguodala, three. 194, Philly up. Three minutes to go. That's the score. Iverson, nice pass to Corliss Williams. Oh, the Razor back for two. Philly goes on to win by eight, 112 to 104.